Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You want to see what I play with? Can you see that? Oh, you can see it's supposed to be a peace symbol. Okay, it's 1 a.m. It's Monday night, right? Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday morning. morning. Monday night, Tuesday morning. We got back yesterday. We did Piquito, uh, Piquito little unloading of the of the truck today. Um, we didn't really get, but, uh, what, maybe three of the big things out, such as the two-drawer filing cabinet, this bookcase over here, which I'm going to have to work on. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get some L brackets and put in there, no big deal. Um, uh, and we got the dresser and the bedroom. <laughs> I'm surprised we have so much stuff. I mean, I'm not talking about stuff we brought from Texas, but just stuff. And I don't think it's that we have all that much. I think it's the size of the apartment that makes it look like we have more than we really do. And <clears throat> now that we have artwork and we have a few pieces of furniture, the dining room table, I don't know. Did I bring the dining room table in? What? No, I didn't bring the dining room table in. But uh, it's not a big table, and both sides fold down. <clears throat> and I, but I may need to refinish it. It, it was it was in a, a a metal storage building in Texas for a year, more than a year. Excuse me. So I don't know if you can tell my glasses are filthy. <sighs> I don't really know what to say about the trip. I really don't. I just don't want to be negative. Uh, one of the good things uh, with the trip was we got to go to a restaurant that I really like. And I forgot how good things taste down there. Not every restaurant is that good. And I mean, it's just like a mom and pop place and they're only open for breakfast and lunch. But uh, we got to go. Uh, Carolyn had a um, gordita and a puffy taco, and I had a puffy taco plate, which is two puffy tacos, rice, and beans. She had the gordita, the puffy taco, rice, and beans, but only one gordita and one puffy taco. Uh, hopefully she liked them, and she got to at least see what they really are, you know, because... <laughs> We've kind of messed around with it and uh, not to any great success. I'm going to write a letter to that restaurant. I'm going to let them know how I feel about the restaurant. You know, that it's one of my favorite restaurants. I'm going to, not going to say it's one of my favorite restaurants. I'm going to say it is my favorite. And that's not necessarily a lie. Uh, and an exaggeration, maybe, but. You know, I mean, if I'm going to recommend a, a family kind of restaurant to somebody, that's probably what I'm going to recommend because it's not expensive like, say, um, uh, La Fogata or Los Barrios. And I don't like Los Barrios. Um, what is that other place? Henry's Puffy Tacos. If you want a good, not a decent, but a good very good. Puffy Taco or Gordita. Do you remember the name of that place? Lula's? I think it's Lula's. It's downtown. It's in city center. Like I said, they're only open for breakfast and lunch. Now, that bus trip. Bus trip from hell. Yeah, bus trip from hell. I don't want to say too much about it, but it was miserable. At one point, we wound up uh, in a, a bus depot for an, hour. for an hour with no bus. And they had to bring this guy in who barely spoke to anybody. He was kind of gruff. And he was our bus driver. Uh, we had some good bus drivers, and we had some bad bus drivers, and we had some okay bus drivers. We met this kid from New York, and we basically made almost the entire trip down there with him. He was moving to Texas, moving to San Antonio. Yeah, pretty much the whole trip. 
Yeah. He got out of New York, so we were. Yeah. Albany, I believe. Was it Albany? Somewhere like that. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Albany or, or close by, and uh, all the way down there with us. He was a nice kid, a young guy. Um, and he was moving down there to be with his girlfriend. Like, how in the hell can anybody move to Texas from New York State? I mean, if I can understand if you're from New York City or Albany or whatever, but if you're from the country, come on. New York State has some pretty places out there. Well. Maybe he's tired of all the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ain't going to get no snow down there. Maybe, maybe once in a while. Yeah, well, San Antonio, it snows like, what, once every 20, 30 years? <laughs> and then it's just a flurry, and it doesn't even melt. When, I mean, it melts when it hits the ground. It doesn't stick. But anyway, um, then we drove back oh in a gosh. budget rental rent a truck, rental truck, whatever. We could write a whole book on that thing. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad we are back. I am dead tired. But now we still have to get the truck <laughs> unloaded and returned. Yeah, we have to finish unloading the truck. We have to clean it out. Then we have to return it. <sighs> Things happen on trips. What? What is it? The right side? No mirror. The right side mirror is busted now. There's Just a the glass. The glass, yeah, just the glass. Um, there's a yellow engine light that kept coming on. And it was Ohio, was it? Yes, which we got checked out. And Can you hear her? The, the, code, the guy eliminated the codes from the computer, and it still kept coming on. And then it burns steady for a while, and then all of a sudden it starts flashing. Where are we... Should thank God that we made this without the truck exploding on us. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. Hmm. Anyway. So, we slept in, I tell you that. We both took a shower because we stunk, I'm sure we stunk to high heaven. We had not, two and a half days down there with the bus. How many days back? Four or five? Four. Four days of a drive. We didn't get much sleep in either direction. If you even want to call it, we did sleep. We never took a shower. We never took a bath. At, Carolyn found some wipes and, you know, at least she did our underarms. I didn't even do anything, except we did our hands. We had the alcohol stuff. And she, like I said, a few found wipes. She cleaned her face and Don't everything. Don't tell them about the bathroom on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom on the bus is it's a roller coaster. a small closet. Yeah, and it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> so, I want to say, though, I want to say, thing, oh, we plastered from New Hampshire to Texas and back. We plastered. More on the way back. Yeah. On the way out. Who owns you? Cop Block and Free Talk Alive. So. We even put bumper stickers on the rear ends of semis and uh, trailers. Yeah, so uh, and a couple of cars. And a couple of cars. Yeah, so um, and and we put our our and business a bus. in a bus, and we put our bus. we put our business cards. You know, my my um, Dragon Slayer cards and Carolyn's Avon cards. So you know, we did some activism, I reckon. Um, we only got to see. One of my mother's neighbors, um, one is in a nursing home. My mother did recognize me. That was nice. Um, it was still really hard, but at least she recognized me, which surprised me. She has Alzheimer's, for those of you who don't know. Um, Lucky's back home. He seems happy, although he made friends with Simba the kitty. You know, he loves cats. He hates other dogs. Please click the ads. We desperately need money. We're like seven hundred plus dollars in the hole now. So thank you, 